From Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The South African extension of Germany-based Phoenix Contact has expanded its value-added center based in Randburg in Johannesburg as part of its continued efforts to provide its customers with manufacturing of their product solutions. Krima Media journalist Simon Litka tells us more. Phoenix Contact, which is an industrial automation, interconnection and interface solutions provider, have been running its VAC centre on a smaller scale for the past 18 months. But South Africa GM Carl Kleinhan says positive customer feedback encouraged the company to move the VAC to both a larger space and to now market the benefits it can provide. The important thing to note is, is that we actually have, we've had a VAC on a smaller scale here for uh, over 18 months already. Um, we have one or two customers. We haven't marketed the center um, aggressively up until now. We've sort of, we've kept it uh, sort of on a bespoke kind of a basis um, and it's been successful. The feedback we've received from customers is that they, 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 they see value in, in being able to offer them bigger parts of their of their solutions um, with, without of course competing with them which is definitely not our intention so we have we have had customers and we have and we've been doing work out of the VAC for for a while, some time now and then we took a decision that that there's enough positive feedback that we need to this was sort of in a much smaller area upstairs in the warehouse that we needed to to scale it up a bit so that we could really go out and start promoting some of what we can do and um, and scale the business and, and that's really why we've opened the new centre today. The possibilities for customers are endless, he suggests, though the company's Derek's Diane elaborates on this. The benefit from the customer's point of view, it takes a hassle out of repetitive business that he has, repetitive rails that he has to build. We issue them one article number, they order one article number, they do the design on project complete. Once that's approved, we would then assemble the rails with marking, with bridging, all the accessories that is needed. We would do the testing here if need be, and we would issue the quality control with the product when, we, when it's delivered. So that there's no wastage, he gets the exact products that he wants and the exact accessories. Stian also tells us a bit more about the company's free-to-use software, Project Complete, which is key to the VAC's overall offering. Project Complete is a, is a software package that is designed by Phoenix Contact in Germany. It's available free of charge and it's a software package to design your DIN rail. So on your DIN rail you would then put on how many terminals are needed, how many relays are needed, how many power supplies or whatever it may be, the marking, the bridging, all of that is designed on Project Complete. So you save your drawings from that and we issue those drawings and that's how we manufacture the product. While the opportunities are endless, additional expansion for the VAC is not quite on the cards yet and will largely be dependent on customer demand. We do have additional space behind the centre, so if, um, if needs be, we can still expand on this site further um, and, and really we will grow as, 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 the, as the demand grows. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.